Hi everybody, this is Gat Saad for The Sad Truth. A few months ago I received an email from a lady who was quite irate after having uh, read about a jointly authored uh, study of mine with one of my former doctoral students, Eric Stenstrom, where we had looked at the effects of uh, the menstrual cycle on women's beautification and food-related uh, behaviors and desires and purchases. And one of the key findings of that uh, study was that uh, when women are in the maximally fertile phase of their menstrual cycles, this is when they are most likely to engage in uh, various acts of beautification, which from an evolutionary perspective makes perfect sense. And the lady in question was quite upset because apparently this finding could uh, be used by rapists to justify their uh, criminal acts, which uh, is quite an extraordinary claim because it requires some delusional Herculean gymnastics to arrive at such a conclusion. And of course, her, her implication is that you shouldn't be publishing such a finding lest someone might misuse it. Uh, of course, this is wrong on uh, many levels, uh, but it is a theme that is often uh, you know, found by uh, when one analyzes the tractors of evolutionary psychology and the positions that they take. So oftentimes, uh, those who are hostile to evolutionary psychology will say, you know, if you study things like child abuse and uh, war and uh, infidelity uh, and all sorts of other reprehensible acts, then you are somehow condoning it, you're somehow justifying it. And so you shouldn't engage in such practices because uh, you're taking that which is bad, evil, immoral, and you're finding scientific, quote, justifications for it. I mean, this is absolutely an insane statement to make. This is uh, akin to arguing that uh, oncologists who study cancer are for cancer, are justifying cancer, are condoning cancer. It's the exact same analogy. And so if you think that the cancer example is idiotic, then certainly the argument that to explain war or rape or child abuse or infidelity is to condone it is as silly. Uh, so again, it demonstrates that many of the people who... Uh, have a visceral hatred of evolutionary psychology, are really rooting their arguments in just an affective disdain for evolutionary sciences rather than any for any valid scientific reason. And so, to set the record st straight, uh, humans are endowed with many wonderful qualities, and so evolutionists study things like compassion and empathy and altruism and love and parental investment. These are all wonderful, positive things. But also humans are can be dark and evil and criminal and immoral. They could engage in violence. Those things exist, right? We can't just hold hands and sing Imagine by John Lennon. And so to the extent that these things exist, we have to also explain them. And so to explain them doesn't mean that we are for it, doesn't mean that we are supporting it, doesn't mean we are justifying it or condoning it. It simply means that we are trying to explain the full richness of the human condition. So hopefully at some point this... Uh, dragon will be slain because it gets quite tiresome to keep hearing the same old, uh, you know, hostile positions that we keep addressing and yet they never die. That's the sad truth for you. I'm off to teach an MBA class later today. Wish me luck. Talk to you soon. Ciao.